You know, one of the most important things in a long and fulfilled life is to find something constructive to do. She broke with convention, ignored the rules, said yes when others said no. A classically trained ballet dancer, she auditioned for racy productions on London's West End stage. Forbidden to train as a glider pilot, she disguised herself as a boy and climbed into the cockpit. In 1943, aged 19, she joined the Women's Royal Navy Service to assist in the war effort and signaled ships as they returned to the Black Isle in Scotland. She turns adversity into incentive and defines failure as a reason to keep trying. Her desire to dream big and live life without fear or regret inspires many. Her infectious energy exhausts those half her age and she enjoys a stiff bell's whiskey after a hard day's work. At age 80, she blazed a trail in Africa and secured support in Hollywood by founding a charity to empower young women in Morocco through entrepreneurism, healthcare, and education. Are these all handmade by the girls? Her foundation's sense of duty to the girls also includes a sense of mission, provide them tools and training, and not only will their lives improve, but so will the local economy. She's been called a maverick, a visionary, entrepreneur, rebel, author, philanthropist, and friend. To me, though, she's just mum, and her spirit has always defied gravity. Soon, she will too. We all need to feel proud of ourselves. It's your choice.